For the Durgan family, their washing machine seems to always be full. We rely on it a lot. It especially raising kids, little kids. But after buying this Whirlpool washer new from the Home Depot in 2020, it just never seemed to work right. There was days where it would take literally all day to fill or wash one load of clothes. Candace Durgan says the machine could never seem to get past the fill stage. And when she called to try and troubleshoot things, she was told nothing could be done. Whirlpool said, we well, need to talk to service. Service said we have nobody to service your area. Home Depot said, nope, your warranties expire. While Durgan, like many consumers, was convinced by the store to buy an extended warranty, she didn't actually need one, thanks to Maine's implied warranty law, which covers faulty appliances under four years old. But Durgan says neither Home Depot or Whirlpool told her that. I never would have known if you guys hadn't already done the stories and, and somebody in the family hadn't seen it. They just said that it was not under warranty. And the I team has been trying to educate consumers about Maine's implied warranty law for and, years. And did not know that. Helping many of them get everything from stoves. We don't know where else to go. To dishwashers fixed. The law has three major points. The item needs to be poorly designed or seriously defective. It can't be abused, and it has to have been purchased less than four years ago. If the item passes that test, both the seller and manufacturer are required to repair or replace it. And while that seems simple enough, consumer advocates say it's often hard to take advantage of. The first thing out of their mouth is, we, we don't know what you're talking about. We've never heard of that, and we don't do that here. <laughs> Carol Roberts has been fighting for consumers for decades on both the state and national level. I can't see any way the store could deny them. But has had trouble getting companies to honor the implied warranty herself, even having to take them to court. But the average person is not going to do that. I did it because I knew how to do it, and I, it would, took a long time, months. And uh, When they should have just been following the law. That's all they had to do. So it ended up costing them plenty of money. But companies not following the law is costing consumers money too, which is why Roberts wants to see change. And I think the law is well written. But what we need, we need some kind of, uh, there, there has to be enforcement, better enforcement. Complaints about faulty appliances are usually one of the top complaints into the Maine Attorney General's office. And if a manufacturer or seller refuses to honor the implied warranty, they do offer a mediation to resolve things. But that's voluntary, and what Roberts wants to see is companies held more accountable for marketing their own extended warranties rather than telling consumers their rights. You have a sign up telling people they can buy an extended warranty right, right there. Why don't you put up a sign telling people they have an implied warranty? Well, you can imagine, oh, they didn't want people to know that they had an implied warranty. I never would have spent the extra $200, $300 on extended warranties if I'd known about the implied warranty. In the Durgan family's case, after the I-team told Whirlpool about Maine's law, they finally sent out a local company to fix their washer. It's amazing that it runs its cycle without having to stay on top of it. One less worry for this family, with the hopes their story can help protect others. The consumer protection should be publicized more. It, sh it should be known information especially on your bigger purchases.